Sting and Trudy Styler have been together for over four decades now, and they're still as in love as when they met. The way their romance started, though, turned a lot of heads back in the day. The marriage, I'd go crazy too. So I, I, need, I need that balance. And um, she's very strong. I, f I feel like an orbit because she's central to my life. Why? Well, Sting was married with two children when he met Trudy, who was his wife's best friend. In 1974, Sting's whole world changed when he met his first wife, Frances Tomalty. She was playing the part of the Virgin Mary in a Christmas rock show in his hometown. After a little over a year of dating, Frances fell pregnant, and when she was three months along, the pair got married in a Catholic ceremony. We will fall in love, and within 18 months, this woman will be my wife. She transformed my life and was a catalyst in my becoming something completely different, he wrote in his biography. In 1976, they welcomed their son, Joe. Six years later, they would welcome their daughter, but this wouldn't be as happy an occasion. Just one year after getting married, Sting met Trudy Styler. At the time, Trudy was neighbors with the singer and his wife. Their bond began when they passed one another on the street, and what could have been a romantic encounter between two people turned into a media scandal years later. Not only was Styler acquainted with Sting after their meeting, she was also a close friend of Tom Lattie since they met during a production of Macbeth. Sting's wife at the time took the actress under her wing and they became good friends. We have such a, I don't know, an easy and fantastic, uh, great friendship together. At the time of Sting and Trudy's meeting, he was a struggling musician who had just formed a little-known band called The Police and was juggling marriage with a newborn baby. Despite his outrageous looks, the actress couldn't help but fall in love. I thought, I fancy that guy with green hair, she said. It was certainly love at first sight for Sting as well. In his autobiography, Broken Music, he wrote about what he felt when he met the actress. Her eyes are a pale green, and across her left cheek is a strip of scar tissue that curls like the violent memory of an animal claw. Strangely, the scar in no way detracts from her beauty because she looks to me like a kind of damaged angel, he wrote. Although Sting claims that him and Styler were platonic for at least the first year of their relationship, it's not known exactly when they began to see one another romantically. Neither are proud of the situation and remain quiet on the exact details for the benefit of everyone involved. Soon, things got murky. Frances and Sting welcomed their second child in 1982, and it was around the same time that she discovered her husband's affair with Trudy. Not long after the birth, they separated. As for Styler's situation, she was also in a committed relationship with someone else. It was the least ideal situation you can imagine. I don't talk about it because it's tied up with, you know, his ex-wife, and I don't talk about her, Trudy said. By 1983, Trudy was pregnant with Sting's child, and things were going very well for the police, with hits like Roxanne and Every Breath You Take. With this in mind, the band was about to embark on a world tour. Trudy went on the road with the police up until she was eight months pregnant. It wasn't until 1984 that Sting and Tom Lattie divorced, and that same year, Styler gave birth to a daughter. Sadly, the demise of the police would be coinciding with the breakup of his family. There would follow a season in hell for everyone involved, he said. After the divorce, strict Catholic Francis kept her dignity and would only say of the split, I'm happy everything has gone through. It's been done amicably. She had longed for the fairy tale marriage ever since she was young. But Sting's growing fame, good looks, and inability to be faithful meant their 1976 wedding was doomed. He once announced that it was cool to be promiscuous and admitted to sleeping with five women in one week during a U.S. tour. As the band took off, he would not see his young family for weeks on end. It was wonderful to spend more time at home you know, yeah. with my wife and in the same bed every night and walking my dog. Things seemed different when he married Trudy as his womanizing ways were no longer. He became the family man he was meant to be as the couple had four children together over the next 20 years of their relationship. While Sting says that it wasn't his goal to have a big family, he is forever grateful that he has it. I became a dad by accident six times. That's how smart I am. Yet they were the happiest accidents of my life because they're remarkable human beings. They have produced seven grandchildren at this point who are also wonderful. So I didn't intend to be the patriarch of a tribe, but I am, he said. Over the years, he has also spoken about how difficult it must have been for his kids to have him as a dad. He was sure there were times it was great to be his child, and other times it was a pain in the ass. When he would go pick up his kids from school, there were other parents asking for his autograph, which was embarrassing for him and his children. With my children, there is great wealth, success, a great shadow over them, so it's no picnic at all being my child. I discussed that with them. It's tough for them, he said. 
Despite how difficult it was, he has never had any plans to make their life easier, at least financially. Sting has said that him and Trudy have instilled in them the importance of making their own living. His kids are fiercely independent and don't sit around waiting for a handout. People ask me about this statement I've made about um, not leaving any vast fortune to my children. I say I'd, I wouldn't want to rob my children of the, the adventure and the privilege of making it on their own, of actually making a living on your own. It's a fantastic thing to do. The musician did say he will always help them if they're in trouble, even though he has never really had to do that. My kids won't see a penny of my 300 million fortune. I told them there won't be much money left because we are spending it. I certainly don't want to leave them trust funds that are albatrosses around their necks. They have to work, he said. Well, good for them. Trudy and Stink dated for 10 years before tying the knot in 1992. The pair had a rock and roll, star-studded, iconic wedding that would kick them off into what has now been 30 years of marriage and 45 years of love. How have they managed to be more loved up than ever? Well, Sting has a theory. We love each other, which is a given, but we also like each other, and that's an important distinction. Love is passion, but liking somebody and enjoying their company is different, and it lasts longer. Be married to your best friend, he said. The power couple is proof that you don't have to repeat the patterns of the past, and there is always room for improvement. Both pride themselves on having great communication skills, something Sting says he didn't possess in the past. Talking about how they feel also helps maintain a healthy relationship. Equally important is the strong friendship and trust that they have built over the years. We treat every day as it comes. Relationships aren't easy, and I don't think they're particularly natural. Trudy lights my world up when she comes into a room. I don't take her for granted, he said. How sweet is that? Many are shocked that their relationship has lasted as long as it has, and the couple are just as shocked. When people ask him how it has lasted this long, he always says it is an absolute miracle and they don't take it for granted. Even though they have tips and tricks to a loving marriage, they're also not quite sure how they pulled it off. This is especially true because they are different in a lot of ways. Trudy has been outspoken about both her dyslexia and ADHD challenges from childhood to adulthood. Statistically speaking, the divorce rate for people with ADHD is nearly double those who don't struggle with it. Styler admitted that things are sometimes challenging. She joked that Sting is a very organized person and she is quite the opposite. She also made light of the situation. 30 years on, Spark's still flying. After 30 years, I guess he's just used to the wreckage. Maybe that's why he goes on tour, she said. As for what life looks like now for the couple, their kids are all grown up and not expecting any inheritance from their well-off dad. Sting has continued to make music, tour, travel with his wife, and they are now winemakers too. They are also involved in a lot of charitable efforts, which is something Styler has always been passionate about. After a lifetime together, the way they started their relationship is still in question, which, of course, is still upsetting to them. Trudy does have something to say about how they have gotten past the scandalous affair. Neither of us are proud of a situation that happened. It just happened. We loved each other and we lived together and then we got married and we had more kids. And that's our life story, she said. The way your relationship unfolds may not be the romantic love story we expect, especially because others were hurt in the process. While Sting and Trudy Styler's romance was initially smeared with scandal and shame, the couple now lives a happy and fulfilling married life. Let us know in the comments if you believe in soulmates and what you think of this love story. As always, this has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.